Don't smile. Don't smile. <laughs> All right, I'm here today with my son, Jesse. He graduates in how many days? 17. 17 days he'll graduate high school and then be ready to go on to college. But uh, one of the things that I'm making him for his graduation present, is something he's been wanting for a while, is a radio flyer wagon to pull out on the pier. So basically a fishing buggy. So we got to do some tweaking to it. We've got the wagon here. And it's one of the all-terrain or yeah, all-terrain wagon. I bought this thing off of, I think it's called Offer Up. Kind of like Craigslist, but the guy was selling it. I bought it for 50 bucks. And these things sell for like 130, I believe. Uh, it's, it's in really good shape. So we're gonna put some rod holders on it and a couple other things. And we're gonna video it as we go. What do you think, Jesse? All right, we're gonna get started with this thing. I know we're gonna put the rod holders here and we're gonna have to center this thing up and I'm gonna have to use a Dremel tool to make it fit between these two upright pieces. Uh, we bought some bolts and stuff to go with it and uh, we're just gonna work on it and see how it turns out. All right, I'm just getting the rod holders and bolts and washers out of the bag. Give it to Jesse to inspect. He checks out the little tray. Now here I've got to eyeball it a couple different times. I don't get out the measuring tape at all. I just get it really close, center it up, and level it by eye. Get out my Sharpie and mark it the best I can in the center of those upright pieces. All right, I've got it marked. I'm just eyeballing it again just to make sure all right it's time to find the cutting wheel for the dremel tool and jesse's gotta check his phone make sure all is good and all is good now this is for me from the back i am adding the cutting wheel to my dremel tool i've got to take the carving bit off of it and jesse just hanging out with me i get started cutting this thing I'm using this board on the back of my bench to kind of steady my hand you can cut this thing pretty easily free-handed but it does help to steady your hand up a little bit all right I'm test fitting it now and it fits perfect all right it does leave behind a little bit of plastic that you need to kind of clean up around those cuts I'll let Jesse clean that up with a knife while I eyeball this other side and get it ready to cut and Jesse got that one cleaned up and it's ready to go I'll finish this one up and get it on there all right this one is ready to go it fits perfectly and we just had to put it right between these upright pieces now there's four holes we'll have to put little bolts in Jesse's doing the cleanup. This is what it looks like after cutting it with the Dremel. Just got a little extra stuff there. We'll get, he's doing the cleanup on that. Before and after. Now here's before and here's after. Good job. All right, I just noticed that the planks there on the back should be on the front. That dip there in the top plank is where the handle rests when it's in the upright position. I'll be changing that. That it? All right, this is the fishing buggy so far. Actually looks pretty good. But I forgot L brackets. These, these things just attach here, these side panels. And if you look here, this is my old fishing buggy. Basically the same setup. And we're gonna add this same stuff to his fishing buggy. These are just three pieces of wood put together. I kind of attached it to the side and we always carried a cooler right here. So we know we're gonna do that. And it'll have a eye hook here and on the other side, eye hook here on both sides. This one, I actually put a hinge here and I had a piece of plywood that came out and it attached with the chain. So 
you kept it up if you didn't have anything on it, but we carried a small cooler attached to this that we could let that down and carry the small cooler on that. I don't think we're going to do that to the, his fishing buggy, or are we? Probably not. Probably not. That ended up being, it was pretty cool, but it was more trouble than it was worth. Well, like I said, I'm going to add L brackets here because when you put your rods on here, it'll, it'll pull on it a little bit, not much. Just put an L bracket here, it ties it all together. And I want to possibly add some type of sound system. Maybe a piece of PVC pipe attached somewhere and with a, with a 90 on each end and just dremel out a little slot in it so that he can set his phone or iPod. The main thing this is for, we've, we've taken them out on the beach before, but when they're loaded, they're kind of hard to pull. The main thing is pull it out on the pier. We like the pier fish. All right, there you go, bud. Pretty good start. And we may, I may dremel these little uh, ends off here. Because that, that'll dig into whatever you're carrying. I'll dremel those off. Okay, a quick and easy fishing buggy. Like I said, these things are really expensive unless you find them on Craigslist or somewhere. We paid 50 bucks for that one and $39 for the two sets of fishing rod holders and the other thing. What's this thing called? Cup holder? Tray. A tray. A special fishing buggy tray. One other thing we want to do, possibly, is either put a, like a rhino liner type coating on the inside or maybe powder coat it. I'm not sure. We'll keep you updated on the next mods we do to it.